What's up, guys? I apologize. I know it's kind of hard to see, but I'm not going to lie. I'm at a random park right now, and I kind of just want to have this video very raw and tell you the truth about self-improvement. I'm not going to lie. Self-improvement is not easy. Self-improvement is not for the weak. So many things happen to you when you're on your self-improvement journey. You're basically shedding a layer that's been with you your entire life. And I'm not going to lie. That is why 99% of men are fat, are feminine, are they just don't care to improve their life because it's hard. Now, you might hear top five ways to improve your life, you know, and you just you think it's easy when you hear that stuff. But I'm telling you right now, improving your life is very hard and you have to go through so much. You know, just because you see an Andrew Tate clip where he's in a Bugatti, whatever car he has, and he tells you to join his university and you will change your life. It's not as simple as that. You have to sacrifice so many things if you want to improve your life. Your friends will start to act like they're not even, they don't even know you. What I mean by this is suddenly tiny things that you do will start to annoy them because you're on a different journey now. That is why I've lost so many friends. And I'm not going to lie, it gets lonely. But again, like I said, it's not for everyone. Improving your life is not for the weak-minded because it takes a lot. And I, I know I might sound cringe here. I might sound like some fake motivational speaker, but I'm telling the truth here that when you try to improve your life, that's when it feels like you're not doing, it feels like you're in a worse position than you actually were. And that is the first stage of self-improvement. That is the whole purpose of self-improvement. Letting go of whatever was holding you back and feeling like you are in the mud. But that is when you will actually get to the next level. Because when you're stressing about tiny things, you know, when you don't want to drink alcohol, you don't want to smoke weed, but your friends that were, that you've been doing it with them for a while, that's when they will make you feel weird. I'm telling you, I'm not, I feel like I'm going crazy because I see that people around me are just starting not to like me. I'm getting called weird now. And so many people are just, I can't even really like go in full detail because I already know it's going to piss some people off, but it's not going well. And I'm not going to lie. I never drank alcohol. I never smoked weed. I never had sex. And this is when people will think I'm weird because that is not normal in this society. It is not normal. It's not normal to try to improve your life. I'm telling you, people will start to hate on you. And that's when the self-doubt comes. That's when you think that you're crazy. When you have this voice in your head that doesn't go away. That's nagging at you every single night. You can't sleep. There's so many nights where I couldn't sleep because I'm so unhappy with where I am in my life. And when you get to that level, man, I'm telling you, it gets so hard. But that is when you have to get through it. And I'm going through that stage right now. I'm not trying to speak and act like I've already been through it and I'm successful. I'm still on my journey to success. But I'm just teaching you what I learned along the way. And that is that it's not easy but you have to stick through it no matter what because this is what has to happen in order for you to get to the next level and tiny things like I said will start to bug people and you may not have a lot of friends I'm not going to lie like it all started in middle school where I just I was so depressed because I barely had any friends because I didn't want to do the bad habits they're all vaping since middle school, they're all vaping, trying to fit in. And I knew there was a different path. I knew there's something else I could be doing in my life. You know how many times I've gotten made fun of? So many people talk behind my back. And they act like I don't know. But deep down, I know that they're just, I don't know. I don't know what happens to their minds when you try to improve your life. But something happens to where they just, they want to bring you down. They're like crabs trying to grab you down. So... Just expect it to happen, man. And like I said, it started in middle school. I had this pain in me because 
I didn't know what to do. I didn't know if I should keep on this journey to improve my life. But that's when I figured out that you have to be authentic. You have to know who you truly are. You have to know what you truly want in your life. Because there's going to be times when you're tested. There's going to be times when, you know, everyone's going to an after party and everyone's calling you weird for not going to one. Everyone's saying that you're insecure, that you didn't have friends. And it's, it might be true that you don't have friends. If you're still in high school and you don't have friends, even if you're in college, whatever it is, if you're seeing people go to these parties, it's so normalized now. But I want you to know that there's a different light out there. Keep walking through that dark tunnel because one day you will see the light and you will be so grateful. It's either that you go through the pain right now, delayed gratification, where you delay that gratification right now, you go through the hard times where you feel like you're alone, where every single night, every single night, you're battling the voices in your head that are telling you to quit, but you keep on going. It's either you do that or you follow the path of the average. You work a job for the next 40 years. You keep going to these parties. You marry a woman that you don't even like. You have fat. You can only choose one. So many men, so many men are so average. If you walk around 10 men, I'm not going to lie. I would say 9 out of 10 are average. But at this point, it's 10 out of 10. It's very easy these days to get into that 1% because so many people are not trying. They give up. There's so many times where I wanted to give up. I had to remind myself that the future that I want is not just going to magically come to my hands. I have to work hard for it. I have to grind day in and day out for it. Because if I don't, then I'm not going to get anything. You, you have to stop feeling sorry and start doing something with your life. So many times I've had a bad day at work and I just come home. And, you know, I feel so sorry for myself. I feel so emotional. But then I have to remind myself that I can't feel sorry. Because if you don't change something, then you won't get any results in your life. So if there's people that are holding you back, if there's people that are talking bad about you, realize that this is part of the process, that you have to go through this. And once you get past that, that's when they suddenly switch up on you. That's when they're, they're saying, good job, I always believed in you. But I'm telling you that if you go on this journey, your own friends, your own family members, people who you thought will support you no matter what, will turn their back on you. You have to get used to getting hated on. And you also have to get used to not caring what other people think. And that was, that's what was holding me back all these years. I was so scared of what people would think about me. Even when I made this channel, I'm not going to When I was about to upload onto my story that I started a channel, I was shaking. I was shaking. That's how bad it was. I had this chain around me and I was shaking to post that picture of my YouTube channel. But... Starting YouTube really taught me something. It taught me that people are going to hate no matter what. And the people that hate the most are the people that got nothing going on with their life. I realized that the people that had stuff going on in their life, and you know who has things going on for their life. They are the ones who will respect you, who will slide up and say, hey, good job, man. Good luck on your journey. Not the ones that will make fun of you, you know, and mimic you. Mimic whatever you had to say in your videos, and your social media, whatever business you tried to create, not trying to bring that down, whatever it is. You get to a point where you do feel lonely, but you realize that it is needed. And I'm not saying you shouldn't have friends. It's, it's very good to have friends, but you need to really be careful with who you're friends with. That's why I honestly am trying to optimize everything for me. Because I cannot have anything negative around me in this journey. Because I already know it's hard. To get to the 0.1%, you have to literally sacrifice so much. You have to sacrifice a piece of you. And that piece of you is going to feel empty for a while. But then, when your results come in after day and day and day and day of hard work, of not seeing any results, that's when it will pay off. And I'm not going to, I have to listen to that own, my own advice. I have to listen to that. Because there are some days where I have doubt. I am human too. And there are some days where I think that all this is just a waste. But like I said, those days are the days that matter the most. It's those days that make the difference between someone who will live an average life and someone who will rise to the top. 
I just wanted to really stress the importance of how being successful takes a lot of work. It is not something easy. And this term self-improvement has been thrown around by so many influencers saying that it is needed, but you have to know what you're getting yourself into. You have to be, be prepared for it because if you're not, then whatever improvements you made, it will just disappear. And there's some days where you're just, you're going to feel so odd. I'm not going to lie. It hurts. It hurts when, you know, you're just, you feel so alone on this journey. And it gets you crazy enough to a point where you go to an empty park because you need to speak to someone because no one understands you. That's how lonely this journey will get. Unless you have a friend who sticks to you like a brother, who no matter what will always be by your side, you keep that friend no matter what. But be careful with who you're hanging out with in life. Be careful because I'm not going to, there's so many times where someone in my life has talked behind my back. And it sucks because, you know, you, you trusted this guy, you were friends with this guy. And then that happens and you just like, you sit down and you're like, wow, like if he's saying stuff, who, what, what else are people saying about me? But like I said, you get to a point where you don't care anymore. So I'm telling you right now, if, if you're going through a period where you kind of have to sacrifice pleasure, you know, you have to sacrifice drinking and getting drunk, smoking weed, you know, having sex, whatever it is in your life that you're going through that you need to get rid of, realize that it's worth it at the end. Don't be stuck in the instant gratification that everyone around you is stuck in. Become different. I'm going to end this off with the saying, control or be controlled. The reason why I made that my slogan or whatever you want to call it is because if you don't take control of your life, someone else will the higher power will take control, will assign you to a job that you hate for the rest of your life, will make you fat, sick, infertile. So you start by taking control, no matter how small it is, no matter how small this may seem to you, you start by taking control of whatever it is in your life that's tiny, but you know you can take control of it. You start with that and you build off of that. Remember, this journey gets hard, but it's worth it at the end. I want to help anyone that's watching that's going through the same struggle as me. I'm not perfect. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I have flaws myself and I haven't reached the success that I want to. But I just want to say if there's one person listening that if you're on this journey and you feel like it's a waste of time, you feel like it's too hard for you, that you can do it. All right. I'm about to get out of this park before I end up getting robbed by, you know, some random lurker. But I just want to, again, tell you guys that. No matter how hard you think it is, you are strong enough to fight that battle and one day it will be worth it. And I'm going through the same thing right now where I believe that one day all of my hard work, all of my sacrifice will be paid off. Remember again to not allow these people who are negative into your life because it plays a huge role. Try to surround yourself with winners who want to actually improve their life because I'm telling you it really starts with you trying to even change your diet then they will tell you like you're doing too much that it's not needed and all they just try to get in your head they try to keep you average like themselves but when you truly let go of all of that that's when you get again to a higher potential to the next level in your life Good luck on your journey, guys. I really hope the best for every single one of you. See you.